I work with a list that needs to be refreshed every three months. So for example here, you can see that it gets refreshed every three months. So I create a backup list. So the list runs, but I want to have a backup of the list so that I can go back three months ago and see what the data looks like. Now, this is very applicable for anybody who's working with a list. You may want to just do a snapshot and do a comparison for the last three months. This is an easy way to do that. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to how to do this. So here, I just have this set as a manual trigger. And remember, if you go to my flows here um, within Power Automate, you can just say new flow, uh, instant cloud flow. And the reason why I have this as an instant cloud flow is because I don't do it all the time. I just do it every three months or so to do this comparison. I could automate it, but it's just the way I'm rolling with it. So here I'm going to get the items from the original table. Now this happens to be, excuse me, list. This happens to be a list called callings hyphen Wotumpka. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want to take all of those callings today. So callings with Tumpka is the, the list that I have today. Let's just say October 31st. I have this list on October 31st. And I want to copy this list in its entirety to callings October 2022. So that means that in October 22, 2022, I'm going to collect whatever is in this list. In my case, it happens to be three months worth of data. So I do a um, apply to each and I'm getting items. I'm taking the output from this get items here from Collins with Tumpka. That's what my value is there. And I'm creating items inside of this Collins hyphen October 2022. Because I want to use this continuing in November. I want to continue to use this, but I want to capture everything here as a point of record. So here I just plug in all of the data. The, the key here is you have a get items. It's one get items. It's very simple. Just click and start putting in your fields. And these are all of the fields that um, are in the table right now in the list. Then I'm going to go back to the original list because I've made a copy already, right? I've made a copy of this list inside of October 2022. Now I want to go back to the Wotumpka list and I want to do it by ID, okay? And I just want to delete every item in that list. And, and the end result is that the list, this list is emptied, 100% empty, but I have a copy of that list for the last hour, three months of my example, but you could do this monthly. And um, then I can always roll back to this copy because I never modify this copy. Now, where does this apply? In, in, for anybody who's using a list in their environment, they are a pain in the neck um, to restore, to check, to validate. For many of my important lists that I'm running inside of my environment, I have an automated flow that runs once a week and does this exact process right here but I may not delete everything, right? I may just go in and create a new version called the week number, for example. So I may have callings hyphen week 22, and then week 23, and then I automatically have a list with all of that data. Then I can take that data and do a comparison analysis if I want, see how progress is moving between things. There's lots and lots of options. So hopefully this has ignited some of your um, creativity so that you can use this very simple, very simple um, flow to do all types of things within the environment.